At the end of this week, I will go to Fiji, to Suva, for the meeting of the bishops of Oceania. This happens every four years. So about, I think it's about 80 of us will gather there to consider, consider some of the crucial questions of this region where you find small and distant nations, at least in terms of the universal church. Oceania, which is mostly water, doesn't figure all that big in the universal church. We're small in number, vast in area, but small in number. But nonetheless, we have a voice that is unique and we are seeking to shape that voice as the pastors of the church in Oceania as we gather in Suva next week. At the heart of the many questions that we will be considering, and it's not just a business meeting, by the way, but at the heart of our many questions as pastors that we will be considering is, what does the good life mean for the peoples of Oceania, particularly in a time of climate change and environmental destruction, both of which are having dramatic effects upon the nations, particularly the island nations, of the Pacific. And that's about all you've got in Oceania, are the island nations. Many of them very dramatically affected by climate change and environmental destruction. So we will be looking at that. And what does it mean for them to reach out for the good life in the midst of all those destructive effects of climate change and environmental destruction. And at the end of it all, we will say with one voice, which we hope is the voice of Christ himself in the world of the Pacific, we will say with one voice, his voice, blessed are those, makarioi, happy are those who act so that others might live. Amen.